Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Motion Designer and in today's video, we're gonna create this drink promo in After Effects. So let's get started. Create a new composition, five seconds long and rename this to main comp. Hit OK. And go and create a new solid for the background. BG for background, hit OK. Go to the effects and presets and search for ramp drag and drop this ramp on the solid and i'm going to choose a color which is uh, sky blue all right i'm going to lock the background and if i go to the project panel you can see i have a bunch of assets which i will be using for this uh, motion graphics and i'll be linking these assets so that you can go and download check the description down below so i'm going to drag and drop this drink on top of that background and if you see here at the bottom, we have some reflections, so we don't need this. Grab the pen tool and you can zoom all the way in. Click here, hold down shift and click it here. And I'm gonna mask out this, like that. And if you go and select the layer and hit M, set this to subtract. I'm gonna make this a 3D layer here. Hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale and set this to 150. Scale it up to 150. And we're gonna animate this. So move it up here. Hit P, hold down Shift and R to bring up the rotation. And move it up. Then I'm gonna set this Z rotation to negative 10. Set a keyframe for the Z rotation and the position. Hit U, U to bring up only the keyframes. And if I hold down shift and hit page down once, I'm going to move it down somewhere here and change this Z rotation to 10 somewhere here. You make sure you turn on the motion blur for the composition and for the layer as well. So if you play it back, you see that after this keyframe, you can hold down shift and hit page down one, two, three, four, four times. And I'm gonna move it down somewhere, somewhere here. And maybe adjust the rotation to 15. And play it back. You can see that, that's very nice. Just after this keyframe, you hold down shift and page down once. And I'm gonna drag it down away from the frame like that so it comes in slow-mo and goes back down something like that let's see here make it straight line all right that's very nice you can even make it slower by bringing these keyframes away from each other and you have a little bit of slow-mo so but i'll leave that for now and move on to the next one let's rename this layer drink okay let's create a new camera and select this a 50 sorry 80 mm hit okay layer new and create a null object make this a 3d layer and parent this camera to the null object all right let's go to the project panel and drag in the lemon which is the green lemon just drop it just below the drink and i'm gonna rename these lemon one make this a 3d layer as well and scale it down i'm going to start from here p hold on shift and r position and rotation hit u u to bring up the keyframes hold down shift and page down once the same like we did before let's set a keyframe here and move to the first frame and move it up maybe rotation to uh, negative 15 and it comes down like that maybe right somewhere here and hold down shift and page down one two three four and I'm gonna move it down a little bit here and change the rotation to maybe around like that and if I play it back all right that's very nice and hold down shift and page down once which is exactly on the same keyframe if you want to see this hold down select the drink layer hit u 
and you can see the exact same keyframe so you'll have to animate all the other assets in the same timing like we did for the drink so everything will be at the same time because it's a fake slow-mo that we are creating here okay so after that let me drag it down here and select the rotation and you know just move it like that okay so make sure you turn on the motion blur for the layers and if i play it back now so you have a very nice slow-mo going on there right after that we're gonna duplicate this lemon one control d and i'm gonna select go to the project panel i'm gonna select the other lemon which is this select the lemon 2 hold down alt and drag and drop it and drag and drop it on top of that and that will replace the uh, the lemon okay so if you play it back it's not looking so nice now so what i'm gonna do before that is i'm gonna delete this lemon first and maybe i'm gonna move all these away from this so we forgot to do that so let's create a new null object and make this a 3d layer and i'm gonna link this lemon one to that null object hit p on the keyboard and move it away away like that and if you want to scale it up like that okay okay once you are okay with that let me just delete this null and i'm going to duplicate this Control d to duplicate it i'm going to do the same hold down alt and drag it on top of that and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move this hit U on the keyboard, select this position and you can move this by selecting this line. Make sure you select this line and all these positions, the position keyframes are selected. Otherwise, it will record a new position keyframe. OK, so I'm going to make some variation here and maybe even control scale down the size of this. And if I play it back, Maybe I'm gonna change the rotation to somewhere here. Maybe select this and I'm gonna set the rotation to somewhere like this. Set a keyframe and go back to the first. All right. Okay, so go to this keyframe and I'm gonna add some some rotation a random rotation like this okay and go to the last and maybe increase that rotation so if you play it back now the whole idea is to make some variation with the other one so that you don't have the exact same movement okay so it should be at the same timing and all right that's looking very nice and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate the lemon one control D to duplicate it and hit U and select all these keyframes. And I'm going to do the same, select this and move it here like that. And maybe transform, right click, transform and flip, flip horizontal something like that click on the stopwatch to remove all the keyframes and maybe set another fresh keyframe here and move it here maybe i'll undo that for now and maybe i'm gonna move this towards the camera and scale it down a touch and set a keyframe for the position and rotation move it up here one two three four and i'm gonna move it down here and set the rotation something like that and one and move it down here so i'm gonna duplicate this lemon three control d and i'm gonna replace this with the other lemon which is this 
and maybe scale it up a little bit scale it up a little bit and hit U to bring up the keyframes and I'm gonna do the same maybe over here I think this is nice and let me just create the camera animation hit P selecting on the null set a keyframe for the position and maybe here move it to the right side okay that's very nice okay let's create the the other one which is the same lemon and on top of the drink so this uh, make this a 3d layer hit p hold down shift and r yes, scale it down hit p on the keyboard and make it towards the camera push it towards the camera and scale it down all right let's go and start from here set a position keyframe shift and r to bring up the rotation set a keyframe hit u u to bring up only the keyframes go to the first frame and move it up and the rotation to somewhere here so it comes here and one two three four so it has to go somewhere here make this turn turn the motion blur on so that you have a very nice motion blur all right so here we're going to add some rotation page down shift and page down and I'm gonna move this down here that is very nice you can also add another one which is the leaf which i added in the original example so let's drag and drop this leaf and maybe I'm gonna mask out the the leaf. Just mask this out. So rename this leaf and select this pen behind tool and make it somewhere here. Okay, hit P and make this a 3D layer and move it towards the camera like we did for the lemon okay and scale it down and i'm gonna change this point somewhere here all right so at this set a keyframe for the position and go back move it up here and set the shift and r Hold down Shift and R to bring up the Z rotation, set a keyframe, and set a keyframe for this as well. And here, set this to a negative 10. It's coming down like that. Turn on the motion blur once again, and I'm going to hit, to hold down Shift and page down one, two, three, four, once again. And I'm gonna move it somewhere here and rotation to like this All right if you play it back now so i need some more parallaxing between this two the lemon and the leaf so maybe the the amount of uh, movement are the same so i'll move it a little bit slower i can even you know scale it down 50 percent so it back now maybe add some more rotation oops the rotation for the leaf yes that is very nice you can even add some more you know lemon pieces and leaves at the background and at the foreground but for the sake of this example i will i will just leave that for now and i'm going to and go ahead and do the next step okay in order to add some more depth to this composition we'll add some fake depth of field by creating blur so 
Gaussian blur and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this lemon and add this Gaussian blur at lemon 1 and check this repeat adds pixels and I'm going to add 40 maybe 60 copy this and add the lemon 2 if that's 60 it's going to be 50 maybe 40 yes and I'm gonna add this lemon at the same and lemon 3 I'm gonna add 60 and this at 40 and I'm gonna add another one which is uh, this one paste that and I'm gonna add to the leaf and which is going to be 40 maybe 30 yes like that you have some sort of depth of field if you preview this you can see that's very very nice and what I also added was a stock footage let's go to the project panel and I added this one this dust element from pixel.com and I'm going to change this blending mode to screen and I also added another one which is this and add this to screen and move this just below the drink and if I play it back right after the drink is here I'm going to start this something like that and I'm going to duplicate this control D and move it on top of the drink all right that is very nice and lastly I added an adjustment layer and put it above all the layers and go to the effects and presets and type in curves and drag and drop it on the adjustment layer and add a curve adjustment so that you have a little bit of contrast in the scene and if you play it back you have this so that's how simple and easy it is to create this kind of motion graphics i hope you learned something from this video this is motion designer thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care